Here Monk Vitali or Vasily Ivanovich Evgrafov was born on the 28th of December 1879 in the village of Budimirova of Kalazin County of Tver province. Vasily Ivanovich got primary education at a local parish school. In 1901 he moved to Moscow and in 1905 became an obedient at the St. Trinity Sergius Lavra. In 1913, obedient Vasily left for the Danilov Monastery, where in 1920 took monastic vows with the name Vitali. A year later, monk Vitali was ordained a hero deacon. These years he was a member of monk community of the Intercession Church of the Danilov Monastery. As a clergy, Father Vitali was deprived of his voting rights. In 1925, Hero Deacon Vitali was ordained a Hero Monk to the Church of the Resurrection of Christ on Stara Lane. In 1927, Father Vitali was awarded with a waist cloth, while in 1930 with a pectoral cross. In Moscow, the Hero Monk lived on the 3rd Pavelecki driveway, House 14. On the 28th of December 1930, Hero Monk Vitali, along with other monks of the Danilov Monastery, was arrested for anti-Soviet agitation and imprisoned in Butyrka. On the 3rd of January 1931, by the special meeting of the OGPU committee, as an active member of monk group of the Danilov Monastery, Hero Monk Vitali Yevgrafov was sentenced to three years of exile to the Northern Territory. Father Vitali served his sentence in the village of Tsimola of Penezh district of Arhangelsk region. During his exile he felt ill. For some time he worked on a brick factory. In 1933, upon his release, Hermon Vitali returned to his home place, to the village of Budimirovo of Kalazan district of Tver region, where he began to serve at the Church of the Annunciation of Our Lady. In 1934, Father Vitali moved to his last place of service, to the Church of the Resurrection of Christ in the village of Ivoilovo of Novopetrovsky district of Moscow region. During his service at the Resurrection Church, Father Vitali was severely taxed and depressed with supplies of bread and meat. Parishioners helped their shepherd to pay these taxes and complete supplies in time. In August 1937, the prior was falsely denounced, as in the July of 1937, on the day of Eliah the prophet, in a shop among the customers of Grafov said, The thing antichrists do with us is a complete mockery, and their constitution they write, now freedom is for everybody. What a freedom! All the faithful ask me to go to people's houses with icons while the village council does not allow. Is it a life? There is nothing to eat. But soon we will defend our rights, we will prove it to these communists. I will go to Moscow and tell the high priest how communists mock at us. In the August of 1937, among the collective farmers speaking on the topic of taking off the bells from the church of Grafov said. Soviet authorities have robbed everyone. There is nobody to rob. Now they began to rob the church and take off the last bells. This is what Soviet authorities achieved. They are lucky as I was not at home, otherwise we would have showed them how to take the bells off. On the 23rd of August the same year, being accused in contra-revolutionary agitation against the current regime, Hiramon Vitali was arrested and firstly imprisoned in Novopetrovskaya in KVD department of Moscow region, then in the town of Volokolamsk. During the search in his house, a passport, two rubles, six silver 50 kopeck coins and different church books were confiscated. On the 7th of September 1937, the matter was referred to the Inkvidi Troika of Moscow region, while Father Vitali was transferred to Taganka prison in Moscow. During the interrogations, Hiramon Vitali did not plead guilty in the indictment. Already on the 10th of September, according to the 58th article, paragraphs 10 and 11 of the Criminal Code of Russia, the Inkvidi Troika sentenced Hiramonk Vitali Yevgrafov to capital punishment. 
The last prior of the Resurrection Church in the Soviet time was accused in active anti-Soviet agitation among the clergymen, arranging groups of anti-Soviet elements among faithful citizens, being an active member of contrarevolutionary group of kulaks and popes, as well as self-identification with capitalism. Here among Vitaly Yevgrafov was executed on the 14th of September 1937 on Butova firing range area near Moscow and buried in an unmarked mass grave. On the 13th of July 1989, Vasily Ivanovich Yevgrafov was rehabilitated.